Oh boy, where do I begin? It has been a very long time since my last update video. Probably wondering why on earth you are looking at a floor and a box in my hand. Um, well, I think we'll start there. I don't know where to start, so we'll start there. So, this is my room. And that's my computer. You, you see this desk? That used to be over there, and that bed used to be over here. And also my room is very clean. It is usually never this clean. It's usually always like, it's usually just papers all over the place. Usually this desk is filthy. Look at this, there's nothing here. I'm sorry about the low lighting. It is like 5 o'clock in the morning right now. I've been up for over two hours. I can't fall back asleep. So I'm just trying to figure out what on earth I'm going to do. And you know what? We'll do this. See what this does. My mind is interesting. So my parents, I live with them. They are both currently asleep. I am not going to go downstairs to prove that. <laughs> um, but since I live with my parents, I do what they say. And they're selling the house. Since the recent uh, housing bubble has gone insanely inflated, uh, my dad's reasoning is we're going to sell the house, get money out of it, and then um, go buy another house. I'm not going to go through the financial status because that's none of your business, but that's basically what it is. My dad wants to get the money out of this house and find a cheaper place to live. So, since I live with my parents... I gotta go with. Part of that means we have to get the house ready for sale. As you can see, there used to be a lighthouse about there and a lighthouse right there. They're not there anymore. So um, that's why I'm not in VR. <sighs> so yep, um, VR has been packed away. Uh, a lot of stuff has been packed away. Some stuff even gotten rid of. I got rid of quite a few things. Anything that has reminded me of the past is gone, which is like, what is that? Maybe three different things? Pretty bulky things, not easily put into storage, so. Probably will enrage one or two people. Um. Then I also had to get rid of, what was the other thing? I had to get rid of something very significant. I don't, this entire ordeal over the last three months has been extremely stressful. I have not had any time to slow down and think. It's just go, 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 go. Tensions are high, stress is high, anxiety is high. <sighs> I don't think you guys have seen this yet. I don't think I've ever showed you guys. So, I got a, uh, I got an Umbreon here. I don't know if I actually ever showed YouTube this. This is an Umbreon that my mother made. Yes, my mother made this. I named her Luna. Magenta eyes. Blue rings. Very soft. And then I got this in Christmas of 2023. About a year after that one. This here is snowing. It's a giant, soft snow leopard. I literally body hug this thing every single night. Ever since I got it, I have been sleeping better. I'm still not sleeping, but sleeping better. I definitely needed that. Um, <laughs> I needed a f giant furry creature. <laughs> if only it was alive, that'd be cool. Sorry, my mind is just erasing. It's just, so much has gone on. Um, so I guess the most important update I need to give is on my father. Because the last thing I said was, uh, he's going in, at least I think I said it. I hope I did. But if not, um, so long story short, he did test positive for cancer. And he went in for surgery. And the cancer did spread a little. But long story short, it's slow spreading cancer. So in theory, they got it all. Um, sometime in the fall, they'll be doing... Um, blood work or something to see if it's still gone I don't know so um long story short my dad's actually doing better 
he's mostly recovered from the surgery. Um, still has a little bit of pain here and there, but he's going about his day-to-day -day life again, so that's good. He's going to be around a while, hopefully. Um, so, there's that update. I'm trying to think of what else. <laughs> Forgive me, I just don't... It's been so long since I made a video. It's, it's been some time. Um, I'm just... <laughs> I'm probably not going to get everything in this video. Honestly. I don't know. I'm thinking. My mind's just erasing. But basically, all I have left is... Uh, I got my backpack, my laptop's on top of some pants my mom wants me to try on to see if th we keep them, and this thing. This thing, yeah, this this is a nifty little tool. I did not buy this. You plug this, this thing, into the computer of a Tesla. My capstone for school, my final semester project is I am hacking my professor's personal Tesla. You heard me right. I am hacking my professor's personal Tesla using a laptop and $200 worth of equipment, which is not hardware-based. I've opened this. There's not $200 in there. <laughs> the $200 is in the development of the software. That's where it is. At least I think. I'm not sure. Oh, I'm not a developer. I wish I was, but I'm not. I have been, um... Oh, who knows. I've been applying for jobs. Not playing too much games. Uh, I have heavily gotten into Pal World. Best game ever, in my opinion. Some things are uh, very um, <clears throat> questionable. I don't know why they felt the need to include that in the game, but to each their own. It's a good thing it's not required to go do certain things, so that's good. <laughs> if you know Power World, you probably know which one I'm talking. If you know Power World, then you know me. You know which one I'm talking about that makes me very uncomfortable. <laughs> Yeah, so, um, me and a Smash have been really going at that one. Found some pretty cool pals. It's, and we're barely into the game. It's, it's kind of awesome. I'm just... Mm, I'm just trying to make sure I say everything. Oh. Should I say that? Hmm. I guess if I stay vague, I could. Yeah, why not? What's the worst that can happen? I'd be shot. <laughs> I'm gonna move anyway and listen on. How much time is it? Holy crap! The house goes up for sale in less than two weeks. Oh, wow. Sorry, deep in thought here. <laughs> Uh, that that went by quick. House goes up for sale. And if everything goes... And that's still assuming also... Everything goes to plan. But if things go to plan, the house goes up for sale in less than two weeks. <sighs> Forgive me. <sighs> that was a yawn. Forgive me. It's like five o'clock in the morning. Um, <clears throat> House goes up for sale in less than two weeks. And then we sell it. And then we show it off for the weekend. And then, that's it. Wow. House sold. And a week after graduation, I move out. <sighs> just, just keeps going. Have a hat. The plus side is being so busy with school and moving, I haven't had too much time to think about what's happened. Not too much, anyway. So it doesn't affect me day to day. It only affects me really at night. When I'm trying to fall asleep. Um. That other thing. So, um. 
I don't know if you guys know this, but I, I use the Linux operating system. I don't use Windows, I don't use Mac, I use Linux. Personally, best operating system in existence, I personally use Manjaro. And if you're thinking about gaming, I can play the majority of my Steam library. There's maybe a handful of games I can't play. And honestly, those I could care less about because I played those with others, but it was never my favorite. But the games that I care about, n no issues at all, whatsoever. And I even play them on that thing, that Steam Deck over there. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, so, I played a lot of Roblox, but recently Roblox has decided to once again kill Linux support in favor of... <gasps> ooh, ooh, sorry. <sighs> Pardon me. Roblox has killed Linux support in favor of their anti-tamper software. It's not an anti-cheat, don't get that, don't get that confused, guys. It's an anti-tamper. It will probably develop into an anti-cheat. Which will be sad. It's a bummer we have to do that with society. Um So that's I played a lot of Power World on Blah Roblox, but then it's just been a lot of nothing recently. I hate yawning. I am so sick of it. Um, I honestly don't know what else to say. Also, the stager person, stage in the house, they want me to take this poster and move it to the center of the bed. Oh, well, at least I didn't say take it down. <sighs> um, so, yeah, I'm moving, graduating, I am actually applying for jobs at the time, and the pay is insane. If I ever get anywhere near that much money, that will be impressive. I'm definitely not getting that out of college, but... In five after five years of experience the the field I'm in is insane um so yeah graduating college doing my capstone <sighs> can I can I go without yawning for five seconds okay let me try again I'm graduating and doing my capstone my family is moving so thus I am moving um, can't play Roblox anymore. I can't have my Minecraft server up because I host it at home. My home lab has been disassembled and put into storage along with my VR headset. Great fun. Um, I think there's only just one last thing to say. I have made a very unexpected friend. Um... How I made said friend. And yeah, I'm not going to say that. I'm not going to say that who they are or anything. Um, but I will say this. I cannot believe what how they're treating me. I have... For those of you who actually have been my friend, which is very few... But if you were to know me, I am not someone who keeps secrets. I am an open book. I'm transparent and honest. Because the most important thing to me is trusting and to be trusted. And a lot of times, when it comes to showing my past, it doesn't go well. But there is someone out there. that is taking things a little further than anybody else. I don't know why they do this. And I don't think I'll ever understand why. I don't think I will. And in all fairness, I don't want to. I don't want to think about it because I don't want to lose it. They are giving me a lot of affection. Like, literally, I told them... 
like the character I escape to, I I pretend I'm a snow leopard. Like I literally meow and purr. Like I before you guys start calling me a furry, I am. I've looked that up several times. I don't identify with those people. I'm nothing against them. Just it's not for me. Personally. But um with the harsh reality, the harshness of reality, I I escape to something else. I escape to a world that doesn't exist. And this person accepts that. I have never even my own sister does not like the way I behave. My parents are <laughs> I'm not sure how they feel. I don't think they're comfortable with it. My sister is definitely uncomfortable with it. She has said those exact words. You make me uncomfortable. This is why I don't go anywhere with you. But this person lets me be me. It has been a very long time since I ran into someone like that. How many people does that make? That If we start all the way back there, that's one, two, three, four, five, six? I'm going to go with six. Right? One? Oh, I'm trying to do this in my head here. This is very hard. Um, hold on. That If that person's one, and then that person's two, and then that person's three, and then that person's four, and that person's five, that makes this person six? Yes. I, this is, I have been alive for 26 and a half years. Ish. Hold on, my birthday's in December. And this is the end of March. No, I can't say half. 26 and a quarter years. And I've only met six people that I could really, like, I mean, really, really get along with. To no end. Interesting. No, 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 not to be clear, I have other people I could be myself, but I mean be completely myself. That's very few. I kind of forgot I was recording for YouTube for a moment there. Dear Lord, my brain is fried. I'm so tired. <sighs> But, um, I have basically become this person's pet. <laughs> and I'm not complaining. I, I kind of like it. I, we, um, we talk via email. That's what we do. Um. <laughs> and I literally, we have probably sent back and forth over 300 emails. Maybe that's a lot. Maybe it isn't. I don't know. I just know I'm on the... Uh, Gmail only lets like a hundred corresponding emails and then like it starts a new reply thread. And I'm on section three, so I'm like 200, 300 replies. And I find myself going back and reading them over and over again. Especially this one part. If you're watching this, you, <laughs> you know which part I'm talking about. Heck, if you're watching this, I... I don't think I will ever understand you. I don't think I will. And I don't think I want to. I think I just... <sighs> you gave me some advice and I, I really want to try to take it. So don't have self-doubt. Don't be negative. I just... So I'm not going to question it. I'm just going to accept it. Which is very difficult for me to do. With how my mind works. <sighs> if 
kind of making this YouTube video is actually kind of therapeutic. <laughs> um, I've been told by a, a doctor I've been seeing. I've, I've been seeing professional help for a while now, since like November. Um, I need to practice mindfulness apparently, which means it's like more about living in the moment. If I understood them correctly. I'm not entirely sure how to do that, but honestly, I wish I could be more specific in what's going on because what's happening a lot has happened, and like I really I don't know kind of want the world to know at the same time I don't but the only thing that's left to do is to really just move on which is hard for me to do <sighs> it's very difficult to just move on guys I literally just spend my nights with this creature here. This is Snowy. Spend my nights with Snowy. Like, I cannot tell you how big this snow leopard is. It, it's massive. I can body hug this thing. And maybe to some people that's, that's weird. I don't... It gives me comfort. Okay? And when someone is struggling with life I say allow them to be comfortable as long as it's not interfering with anybody else so yeah I spend my time with this creature here when I'm not at school when I have to leave the house I take that one this one holds the smell fabric softener a lot better this one's Still kind of has its factory smell. It's also um starting to get a hole in its neck. I showed my mom that actually this this night here, this last night, yeah, right there. There's a tiny hole starting to form at the seam. Uh, she's gonna help me patch it up. Cause I use this every night. I I want to take care of it. <sighs> well. I just wanted to give you guys an update. Kind of left you hanging. I would have done it in my Umbreon in VR chat, but um, don't have VR right now. My entire computer setup has been, well, not a setup. <laughs> it's not really in the position. It doesn't even have recording software on it at the moment. I never reinstalled OBS. Hmm. Should probably do that. <laughs> I'll probably do that when I. After I move and get settled in. Well, this is already like a 24 minute video, so I think I'm just going to end it. But yeah. Oh, um, that's the other thing. Hold on. I'm very mad at YouTube. I am extremely angry with YouTube. They have been taking down my videos for a couple years now. Just randomly, out of the blue. They've taken down... One of my videos. One of my uh, SMP Let's Plays. I think it was actually my Hardcore Let's Play. Yes, you see, I think it was the Hardcore. But but I remember. I remember specifically. It said I it was taken down for harassment and discrimination. And it gave me a timestamp. I go to the timestamp in the video. Do you know what I say? I say I really hate caves, rock formation hollows in the earth. That's, I, I didn't want to die. I don't like going down those alone. I don't like it. But apparently that's discrimination. Wow, YouTube. And the best part is I couldn't appeal it. <laughs> oh, YouTube, you have self-destructed. I don't even have YouTube on my phone anymore. 
I don't use YouTube. I don't use any s subscription services. I get along without any of that. I find a TV show or movie and I buy the DVD, make it digital and watch it with uh um what's it called? Your home media server. Uh, what was it called? It was called Plex. Uh, I'm working on finding a, a different one. Uh, right now, the current one that looks like it to be it is going to be a Jellyfin. Uh, Plex has gone down, gone down its own rabbit hole. Uh, Roku, I don't use anymore. I used to have a Roku stick, and that now that TV over there uses a Raspberry Pi. And then I also have like a Bluetooth remote over there on my side table and medications. <laughs> Oh, welcome to allergies and asthma. It's great fun. Uh, oh, I should also tell that I got the flu about a month ago from making this recording. I don't get the flu, so that was fun. It took me about I missed two and a half weeks of school. My last semester of college, and I missed two and a half weeks. Anyone who's been through college knows that's a deal. That's a big deal. <clears throat> but uh, my professor, has, my professors, plural, have been working with me. Very thankful for my professors who understand me. I, I call me teacher's pet, but it has its benefits. Sure, the students don't like you, but when you're in trouble, they'll go out of your way to help you. <laughs> I'm gonna stop this recording. My mind keeps wandering down, and I'm about to start mumbling out loud again. <laughs> so, I gotta end this. Um, but, yeah. Comments are open, as always. Not like I'm gonna watch them, though. I am, though, quitting YouTube. I'm just giving you guys an update, just to know, to let you all know I'm doing okay, and so is my father. But beyond that, I don't think you'll be seeing me post YouTube anymore. I don't know if I'll even be a content creator. I think that part of my life has come to a close. My Minecraft server? Unknown. I want to get it running again. I don't know if I'll play it. I don't know if I'll run I don't know. Kind of mixed feelings. So we'll just see what happens when I relocate and get settled in. And hopefully, the internet is good enough for me to continue hosting. No idea where we're moving. But it looks like we're I'm going to be moving at least an hour away. I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. But no one will know where I live, except family, so... That's good. At least when I really do want to be alone, all I gotta do is just turn off all social media, unplug the ethernet cable, <laughs> and I'm isolated. So, if you listened this far, thank you. Don't know why you bothered. <laughs> and to the... to the people... One from school, and the other one that you know who you are. Honestly, I don't think I would be where I am without either of you. That first one from school, they helped me, uh open up more and helped me be able to tell others I actually have <laughs> audio recording that I share with people who I think I can trust and deserve to know my entire past I've only shared that with a handful of people but it seems to that they don't just <laughs> the people I find myself with don't seem to care. I'm not sure why. 
They're definitely not aligned with my sister, who sides with me to no end. I don't know why she does that either. My sister is... She's her own specialty of crazy. <laughs> but if you're going to be a teacher, you kind of have to deal with crazy. <laughs> and I am the definition of crazy. Crazy? I was crazy once. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Don't click off. I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, my gosh. <sighs> yeah, I remember who told me about that. That was uh, Mr. Potato Man. I haven't talked to him in a while either. I have not talked to a lot of people. I'm very good at isolating myself. Very good at it. <sighs> but when the world hates you, you kind of have to be good at isolating be good at hiding. Well, I'm going to stop this recording. It's a half hour, so it's either 5.30 or 6 o'clock now. <sighs> so, I'm going to try to get some more sleep. I am going to get this uploaded. Maybe. We'll see how difficult it is. I don't have YouTube on my phone, so we'll see if I can, I can even upload it. We'll find out. Probably can, but we'll find out. Watch YouTube remove this because I talked about the video they taken down for absolutely zero reason. Oh, bully me, YouTube. If I had the ability and the time and the patience, I would sue you out of existence. But you're not worth my energy. I have bigger targets. YouTube continues to dig themselves a grave. Good for them. Well... This is Stormy Ice Leopard. Saying probably my final goodbye. God forbid if you need to send me a message or get in contact with me, there's two ways to do it. There is my public email located on my about page. If you do the business inquiries, that is my public email address. And the other way is, well, if you know how to get in contact with Smash Bros. the Third. He knows how to get in contact with me, too. I don't think either of those two methods are going to change. They probably will, but only time will tell. I'm not sure why that one puts up with me, either. Smash, I doubt you watch my videos, but if you're still listening, you are insane. Don't know why you put up with me. And you still haven't prevented me an answer to that, either. Okay, well... This is goodbye. The father's okay. I'm okay, I guess. Life goes on. Whether you like it or not. I'm going to try to upload this video and I'm just going to start body hugging the snowy here. L literally, this thing is massive. If you need comfort, you like hugging and snuggling this giant snow leopard. I wonder if they sell other creatures this big. I wonder if they sell bigger, because I actually do wish this thing was bigger. Uh, the brand is Wild Republic. Coolest thing I've ever found. Expensive, but worth it. I bought mine through a um, stuffed animals or something. I bought it not through Wild Republic themselves. I thought through one of the resellers, which is based in Australia. It's actually cheaper. <laughs> Even after shipping, it was cheaper. <laughs> but, um, oh yeah. The price, worth it. I'm going to try to upload this video, and I'm going back to Bunny Hill. Like, I can literally... What I do is, and I'm going to get myself in trouble for probably saying this. I don't care. This is what I do. I wrap this tail around my leg... And then I wrap my arms around its shoulders here. And I stuck my face right here in its neck. And I can even wrap my legs around its legs. I literally can body hug this thing. It is that big. And I'm not a small person. I'm 5'10 and weigh over 200 pounds. Oh, I got a fat belly. I gotta lose weight. Time to go without eating for 10 days again and lose 50 pounds. <laughs> No, I'm not going to do that. No, no, no. I was sick back in, uh, what was that? Was that 2022? 
I think that might have been 2022. I don't remember. But I was sick, so I actually did not, like, eat a lot of real food for, like, 10 days straight. And I lost, like, 50 pounds. But now I'm back to that weight. Welcome to stress eating, everybody. <sighs> okay, I'm going to end this recording because I'm going to drive myself crazy. You listen to the song, congratulations. You like to listen to people talk about how much they hate themselves. <laughs> I'm going to... I'm ending this recording. I'm going to try to upload it. I'm going back to sleep. I'm tired. Goodbye, everybody. Yeah, nothing else to say. Goodbye.